We are going to be taking on Quebec for the second time. This time we go over to Hmm, let's find out, shall we? Storyline time, and if you want to skip it, you can. But this is kind of important for the future. I can't believe Bowser. Hmm. So, looks like he's kind of upset as to how he's paid, and he's throwing it all at a winged turtle. That seems like it'll help him a lot. Good old days. Take three. It's me. Huh. Well, who's that over there? It's not Mario. He must have some pretty good eyes. Okay. We can death. Cue epic music. Cue moving screen of death. Q bomb arms, Q explosives, Q moving platforms, Q lava. It's already been queued, but you know, queue it anyway. And uh, you have yourself another Kamek battle, just like in the backyard. There you go. Hey. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, same old battle as last time. Nothing different except the fact that it's got moving screen. Um, it's got lava. It's got bones. Um, it's somewhat. It is harder, definitely. Um, but a lot more fun, I guess. So. Um, yeah. Let's jump and stuff and things. And then let's go ahead and take this platform. And then let's do that. And then let's hope bombs don't rain on us. And they almost did. And then. <laughs> Hey, you the bomb on me. You're not a bully. You can't do. Oh, close. Alright. Let's go. Watch it. Let's regenerate completely. Let's leave one of them there for the boss. Because once Kamek gets fed up with us, he's gonna leave us here with a little something just like he did with the Goon Boss. So. Little birdie to death. Hello, bullet bills. And. Hello. Anyways, now. Kamex finally just gonna be like, yo, I've wasted enough time here. You get trapped here with this guy. And this is the exact same battle that we had in Lethal Lava Land in the Icy Land of Death, which I cannot remember the name of. His redness around him makes no difference whatsoever. He has some friends, but other than that, it's the exact same battle. And he does get bigger, by the way, although it doesn't really. Bam. Like, that's really how you play. And there we have it, the red shine survived. Oh, stuff. So, we've unlocked another area, another whole course or two, and the final boss area. Yeah, woot. That's right. I am doing the same thing with Starkland. I'm doing better with Starkland. What are you talking about? Anyways, while we're on a short episode, I'm going to cover a couple of secrets that I remember off the top of my head. But first, I want to check out this area just real fast. Well, there's the TikTok clock course. And there's Rainbow Ride. And there's another hidden secret that we'll take on later. Uh, but we're not going to be focusing on that right now. Do you remember... Who was it? This guy. The last episode, James Bond. Huh. I don't know why, but I feel the random need to ground pad break. Yep, that was a secret. Uh, this is a very annoying puzzle. It has the same wet and dry land themes. It's kind of annoying. I don't... A puzzle. It's a really well-designed puzzle. Um, 
but it's a more new class. Anyways, take out your rocket and do that, and then do that. That will raise the water level to that height. And then you can continue to do something else that I forgot. You can go down back here. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. Now you can reach there. Water rise. And then. We need to unlock that cannon, so we're gonna head over here. We're going to take this invisibility. And we're gonna rush on over here. Uh, no, never mind, we're not going to. We're gonna rush somewhere. Wait, wait, what's going on? They're both pointing in the same go- That's what we do. Then we head back over to here. I see now. Ah, I've stopped for quite some time. Now we're gonna take Metal Mario. So, we didn't actually need it for that, we just need it for this down here. And now, we do this. Oh, that noise. Right and when we hit that button, it unlocks the cannon. This puzzle had me stumped for way too long, that's embarrassing. Get the chicken. Alright. Let's head on up. I said let's head on up. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to. Now. I'm getting some lag, I don't know why. Um, we're going to head on up here. And then we're going to hit this. Which raises the water level to the highest point. And then, we're going to proceed. Taking the cannon. Skadoosh. And that. Now we Here we go. Secret number two yeah. lies. That's right. Really. Not really. It was just something I wanted to point out. You can take that as a little shortcut if you want. Actually, you can use that to go somewhere else. But what we're really worried about right now is this area. I want to show up. And over here. This is. Uh, this should be familiar. Here's where we fell for the Thromp Fortress, and there's that. And then you can come over here, grab the flood, going up to here, and this area wasn't access accessible before, but it is now. And now you can get these items in the castle, which is pretty awesome. Over here, we are in the backyard. No real point in being here right now. Not sure why there's a door with no backdrop, that's kind of weird. Anyway, right here, you're taken here. So yeah, let's go back up, shall we? I said let's go back up. Anyways, this area takes us here. And here is right there. So we were just here. Yeah. Cool, huh? Anyways, there is a secret, and this is the secret course of the uh, second secret course of the day. This is actually quite an annoying course. It's amazing. It's annoying. And it's amazing. So yeah. Ow. That's my face. The magma maze. Um, so. I hope that you're enjoying the puzzle theme. But why am I doing this? There's nothing over here. Take the shells, by the way. Those are useful. If you time everything right. And we're gonna head up, up here. Because there is actually a star point that I need to capture, I believe. I'm just not too sure where to get it. We are gonna need that rocket flood. Eventually. Flying bullies. That bully just tried to fly. Flying bullies don't fly. Anyways, let's head back up. Try not to get knocked off this time. And try to be successful for us. We'll see how that goes. Um, mega bullies, by the way, in case you don't know, are, are like boss bullies. So they don't die except for after three things. We're gonna head up here, and there are bullet bills that like to home in on you, and bomb bombs that like to blow.
blow up in your face. So yeah, that's fine. Don't die. Anyways, there's your start for the day. Skadoosh and Spadoosh. Now we're gonna use this rocket to get to various areas that we couldn't get to before. You feel me? Head up here. Um, there's Magma. Now we need to take advantage of these. Or we can just do that. Oh my god! Cray Insane skills. Alright. Head back down here. Don't die. Head up here. Because there's coins. And I need to. And then, once you're done with that, go up here. Because I don't know why. But I think I will soon, maybe. Yes, okay. So we're going we're going in the right direction. So here's the deal. There is a current. Die. All you. Just die. There is a current. A water. Stinking. I can't get in the water. Okay, there we go. Here's the deal. Without this, we're gonna be going this way, and it's just not gonna go anywhere. Um, we could walk. No, we can we seriously walk? That would be terrible. Okay, well, whatever. There's your shine spot. I don't care. Just grab it. So that is going to be all for this episode. In the next episode, we'll probably take on like Tick Tock Clock or something, which is our last um, mini course. It's the last of the mini courses. It is actually a mini course. And then after that, there's Rainbow Ride, which is the last full course. I believe. And then after that, we are done. Uh, except for the final boss, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Goodbye. Hey! Apparently we got that too, even though I didn't make any coin noise. Hey! Okay, we're apparently dead. Except when that happened, I'm already almost about to die. Ah, uh, no. Yep, yep. <laughs>